This is KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guest today is Steve Shanley from the Cedar Rapids Municipal Band. Comes in a couple of times uh, throughout uh, the summer to talk about the CR Municipal Band concert lineup. And to, if it's Wednesday, that means that you're in action tonight. We are. We're going to be at Cleveland School. I should point out that some uh, of the news sources had us at Cleveland Park, which is close but still far enough away to be very different. So please uh, join us at Cleveland Elementary School this evening at 7.30. All right, and what's on the program? Well, this will be a a fun week, I think, for the musicians because they get a little bit of a break from me. I am not uh, able to make it to all of the concerts uh, this week, so I turn the baton over to Jared Wacker, one of the band directors at Kennedy, And Jared was responsible for organizing the Cedar Rapids Metro Youth Wind Ensemble, which performed the very first week of the season with us at our very first concert at Green Square Park. He and Dr. Mark Heidel from the University of Iowa. And uh, it was great, and I thought it would make sense to have uh, Jared back a few weeks later. So he's going to be here tonight and this Sunday at Beaver Park. And the guest artist with the band this week is Nicole Esposito, who is the flute professor at Iowa. Wonderful player. And she's playing the Vivaldi Piccolo Concerto. And uh, if that isn't enough flute for you, as luck would have it, our youth flute ensemble under the direction of Amy Sams is going to be performing a prelude concert before our concert this Sunday at Beaver Park. So at about 6.30, if you want to arrive and see some of the finest flute players in the area uh, under Amy's direction, that's sure to be a great concert as well. I should point out that tonight also, it is not too late. If you are interested in being part of the Sousa Palooza, we are are inviting community members to join us for the final piece of the evening, which is a Sousa March. And you can get more information about this uh, at our website, crmuniband.org. And I think there's something about it on Facebook as well. But uh, audience members are welcome to bring their instruments. They can print off the music um, and and come join us for Sousa Palooza, big uh, mass band playing some uh, John Philip Sousa at the end. I think it's the Homeward Bound March is the mm. one that Jared selected. Well, that's cool. Have you done that before? We have not. This is actually uh, was West Music's idea. They approached us wondering if we would be interested in that. And I think there's like nationwide Sousa Palooza today. Oh, uh, for for okay. some reason, it had to be on the, June 21st, and I knew I wasn't going to be able to conduct that concert. <laughs> so you said, so, "Knock yourself out." So Jared. I said, "Yep, go ahead, uh, Jared. You get to do this." And he's been he's been a good sport with that. So that'll be great. And then uh, Jared has done a really cool job of of programming. You'll hear music from Into the Woods, a nice medley from that, uh, and then music from The Incredibles as well. Some great, great music from that animated film. And then this concert that's tonight at Cleveland School will then be repeated on Sunday. Exactly. And where will Sunday be? At Beaver Park, 730. And again, I encourage you to show up at about 630 and enjoy the music by the flutes. Okay. And then next week you'll be back... Yes, next week I am back, and that's our 4th of July concert. So one week from tonight, we will be at Knoll Ridge Park. That's Wednesday, June 29th, or 28th, I mean. And uh, and then a week from this Sunday, July 2nd, at McGrath Amphitheater. And so that's our annual patriotic uh, concert where you'll hear the Armed Forces salute, America the Beautiful, Stars and Stripes Forever, all of those favorites. And then also we're featuring, bringing back to the area, my good friend Matthew Armstrong, who taught at Washington and Kennedy for a while before leaving to go teach at the college ranks. And he and his wife, Shelley, and her father, Dave, have a vocal trio called the Marshalls. And about five years ago, they joined us for this same concert, this patriotic concert, and they sang some Gershwin and Irving Berlin, God Bless America. It was a huge hit, and uh, I twisted their arms into into coming back and joining us for, for that week as well. You'll also hear Salute to American Jazz, a great concert band arrangement by Sammy Nestico, who many of our KCCK listeners mm-hmm. are familiar with Sammy Nestico as as kind of one of the arrangers and composers for the Count Basie band for a number of years. But uh, what a lot of people don't know is this this guy wrote, well, still does, uh, can do anything and, and a number of fine concert band arrangements as well. So we're uh, we're saluting the, the art form that America gave to the world, jazz, by uh, playing something written by or arranged by one of its uh, foremost composers and arrangers. Okay, so this week, uh, tonight, 
Cleveland and uh, then um, Beaver Park on Sunday. Yep. And then the next week with the patriotic concerts will be Knoll Ridge and the McGrath Amphitheater, correct? Yes. All right. And if people need more information or want to make sure a concert is scheduled if the weather turns bad, they can uh, visit you on Facebook and also your website, which is? CR Muni Band, M-U-N-I Band.org. Or if you just type Cedar Rapids Band into Google, last I checked, we're the first hit. All right. Steve Shanley from the Cedar Rapids Municipal Band. Uh, we'll cross our fingers for good weather uh, tonight and uh, for your concerts over the next couple of weeks and come back in a couple and we'll talk about uh, some more music. Looking forward to it. We've had fabulous weather so far. Far. And uh, yes, this past Sunday at Ellis Park, I bet we had about a thousand people celebrating oh. Father's Day with us. All it was bet. great. Yeah. yeah, weather was perfect. It was.